Hi, I'm Sanjim Majumdar and I'm a plastic surgery consultant from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tendon simulator which I invented. I call it the cord and tape tendon simulator. This tendon simulator can be assembled quickly using materials which are cheap and easily available. My trainees have found this to be an excellent simulator on which to learn and practice different tendon repair techniques. Now let's start with the basics. What's the structure of a tendon? Essentially, a tendon consists of multiple loosely woven longitudinally oriented fibers and these are wrapped in epitenon to keep it all in. Now in my cord and tape tendon simulator, the fibrous core is simulated by a cord and the epitenon is, you guessed it, simulated by a tape, a fabric tape. So let's get started. What do we need to make this tendon simulator? We need a cord and I suggest a bit of soft cord. You can get this in any DIY or hardware store. If you can't get that easily, you can take a bit of cord from a theater pajamas. or You can even use a bit of shoelace from a pair of trainers. Don't cut off the lace of your friend's shoe though. I won't be responsible for that. Then we want to get something that acts as the epitenon, some self-adhesive fabric tape such as Mefix or Hyperfix. What we need to do is get a thin strip of tape and as if by magic, I already have a thin strip of tape here. Next, you peel off the paper backing of the sticky tape and stick the long edge of the tape onto the table like this and fold most of it back over, exposing the sticky side of the tape. Next, you take your cord and lay it onto the sticky surface of the tape like so. Then you roll it like one rolls a roll-up cigarette. Of course, I'd be very disappointed if any of you smoke. And voila, you now have a simulated tendon. Next, you take two more pieces of sticky tape and stick your tendon onto the table like this. Then you cut your tendon, which exposes, like in a real divided tendon, the frayed ends of the tendon with epitenon around it. You can now practice any form of tendon repair you wish, both the core and epitendinous repair. After you've done your repair, you should visually assess your repair for neatness. Ideally, the repair should not be bulky, nor should it have any frayed bits of tendon sticking out. Then you can test your tendon repair for gapping and failure by trying to pull it apart. If you put a label adjacent to each repair you do with the date you've done them, you can have them assessed by your trainers at their convenience. You can monitor your progress and see if you're improving. And if you wish, you can even take your tendon repairs to the ARCPs to demonstrate your progression doing simulation tendon repairs. Also, if you use cords of different shapes and sizes, you can simulate flexor tendons, extensor tendons, and tendons of different parts of the body. Have fun and practice hard.